thanks for joining us today guys on Savage Tech Australia. We have a new product in stock. Guess what it is? Currently, ugh, you lock your car and the tailgate doesn't lock. But we have a solution for that. Harness, CDL motor on a bracket, mounts in there. Honestly, you can get this kit installed I reckon probably 35 minutes, 40 minutes um, for a beginner. Um, if you watch my video, you'll be able to see exactly how to install it. Um, the price for these kits will be in the description. Um, comes with cable ties, the harness, and the bracket. So yeah, watch my video, like and subscribe, and definitely keep in touch because um, I'm going to have plenty more performance modifications for this so to board. install the rear tailgate lock kit you're going to need to start by removing all 12 of these phillips head screws then that will give you access to the lock behind the panel so now we've undone all the screws we have access to and we can see where we can mount the rear lock so we're going to mount this actuator here, right there, prior to doing that we are going to trace this cable, goes all the way back here, pull the electrical tape off, then we're going to use that same gland that's there and we're going to run our cable through. That. So now we're going to try and feed the cable through here after removing the um, grommet from here but to get through the grommet it's pretty tight so you can either use a coat hanger I'm going to use just a cable tie because I had a cable tie here I've just chopped the end of the cable tie I'm going to feed it through here actual pain in the ass. then pull it through then we're going to get this cable I'm going to take it feed it through here then we're going to get some electrical tape tape it on now this is going to be the fun bit so we're just taking this on. Blah, blah, blah. Like so, try and take it on quite well and always get the end so that it's taped. It might even come off still, I don't know how tight this is going to be, but I'm going to feed it through while pulling. You can see it's trying to come through and it's also trying to get stuck at the same time. Might need to peel it back, expose the cable, fold it back on itself. There it is. Just keep feeding it. Enjoys of tight holes. Once you get that through, like so, pull this back, back over itself. And then you're gonna have to pull all a few meters through there. But that's it. So I've pulled about five meters through here. Then we're gonna do the same thing again. We've got to feed this through this other gland or the grommet that's here from the chassis side, not from the tailgate side. So this one will be exactly the same thing. Get it through here as I said previously in the last one, um, feed it through there, then we'll be underneath the car. Difficulties with the, um, the cable tie slipping off, what I recommend to do is strip it back a bit, strip that back, then feed this inside if you can, as much as you can, and that way it'll keep it thinner when you're trying to feed it through, and then just tape it on as so. the end up we'll the feet on the second part so we'll start feeding this through through yeah. Oop, really coming off as long as you can get it through without falling off it's pretty good to even pull it back on itself there's the end of it there so we can get just the very end of it before it falls off it'll be fine that's it I'll see through it's not through you just keep pulling through as okay before. so now we're at the bottom of the tailgate we've closed it um you can see here we've got the double loop the other grommet i've put back in we're going to feed this cable into this hole it's about five meters of it as i said previously just feed it all through then we're gonna tuck this back in the hole the gland and let it seal 
and that's all nice and sealed. Let it pop back in. It's all nice. And then what you can do is you can either electrical tape this together so it's all nicely neat and nice. Um, but that's pretty much it for now. Then we're going to go underneath the car. And you can see under here it comes out the cable. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much... We're going to cable tie that cable all the way along and just trace it back all the way until we get into the... So we're underneath. Cables come through here. We're going to follow it. We're going to cable tie it all the way along. All the way back to the front of the cab. So I'll just... So we're going to start by, we're in the interior, in the back of the cab, we've put the seat down. We're going to start by removing these off. There's two of them. Remove these clips. They sort of, you pull the center out and then it allows the whole thing to come out like that. So there's like two pieces to it, so. And then that's how they lock and unlock. Um. And then we're going to start moving this whole trim from up here. So you start by pulling this back. Then you come down here. Remove that trim off there. That gives you access. Then we should be able to remove this panel. Just pop it. It just pops off like that. Now that panel's all free. Pop it from the top like that. It feels like there's a clip up here. Hold one of these clips just fell off. We'll put that back on. This panel look, they've even got a bit of insulation there to stop the noise from coming in from the boot. Then we've got um should be hopefully. A grommet down here you can see um, so this grommet here we're gonna actually pop that off there you go and there's our access hole so we've just popped that off you can either I'd recommend drilling a hole in this pulling your cable through there that way it doesn't get cut on the um, the metal coming through here but that goes straight down to the bottom so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill this now with my beautiful grubby nails um, and then um, yeah. So now we've um, pre-drilled this hole. We're going to feed this cable through. It's very tight. Feed it through. Like that. Such a tight one. Then we're gonna plug this hole back with it. Nice and sealed as you can see there. Look at that. Mickey Mouse. Okay. So then we're gonna feed this cable down here. We're gonna go underneath this harness that's coming through here. Down here. Come down here like this, and then we're going to pick up the CDL feed for this rear left door. Alright, so let's get that going, hey? So we're just going to quickly pull this trim off, pull the uh, door seal off, pop the panel as so. Um, so that we can pick up the cable going to the motor, which is feeding it down here. There it is there. This should be it right here. This harness here should be it. So you should be able to get a tool, pop this like so on there. Trying to do it without removing the whole panel just so it's a bit easier. So we've got the cable here. Now we're just going to strip it back and get the cables exposed. 
So what I've done here is I've just exposed the cables. As you can see them all. Look at them. Beautifully. They're all in cloth tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put cloth tape back on it when I put it all back together. But for now, I'm just exposing it just so I can get access to the cables I need. So I can pick up the uh, trigger for the rear door from the factory central door locking so that when you lock the car, it just locks the rear tailgate. There won't be a separate button for it. So I'll break that. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I've got all the cables exposed. That's it. So we've stripped back the cables. Um, so we've got red green going to the red and we've got the green going to the blue. So one's your positive and one's your, uh, your trigger it reverses depending on which way you're locking or unlocking the car. We're just gonna solder the cables back. All neatly done. There's no dodgy, uh, you know, look at that smoke, beautiful. So that's all soldered. We're going to tape that up. We're going to put some uh, cloth tape back on it, and um, we're pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to start um, cloth taping this cable back, just so it's all tidy and nice. Um, we've already taped up the... The solder joint with the fucking with the um electrical tape. So that's right. So we'll just keep cloth taping it. I mean you can use electrical tape just to cover all this up once you finish if you don't have any cloth tape on you. I mean. So we've taped all that up now. We're just gonna feed the cable along here. Tuck it underneath here. Just make sure when you're feeding your cable, because when you put the trim back on these these holes where the um where the trim clicks back into and if you cover them, obviously you won't be able to get the trim back on. So just make sure that's all fed nicely. Then it comes up, it comes up here. I'm gonna feed the cable up. I'll cable tie it all to here. Then the excess, I think there's about probably 300 of excess there. Um, we'll cable tie that up neatly and then um, put all the trims back on. So we're back at the rear tailgate again. We've fed the cable in as we did before. Now. The way this was wired up from factory is this cable here was on top. You could have left it like that because it does provide spaces with the kit to give you enough clearance to be able to clear that. I've relocated and fed it underneath. Um, there's a little tab just here. You pull the tab, this whole thing comes off. The, this connection comes off the, uh, the reverse camera and allows you to be able to feed the cable through here. So I've refed that through there. Um, now I'm going to put this onto here, locate these, so I've previously fed these uh, nuts through here, sorry, the bolts through here. Um, now the bolts seem to fall through, so what I've done is I've just got a pair of pliers on that side and a, a headphone case on this side and it's just holding the bolt there just so it stops it from falling in whilst I'm working on it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the nuts, screw the nuts on, like so. There's two, one on each side. Just stick my fingers through for this one. So yeah, we're just screwing the nuts onto the bolt. They're all on there nice and snug for now. Now I was using a headphone cage just to stop that bolt from falling back through. On this side I was holding a pair of pliers just to stop it from falling through. Now, the car's, oh, I don't know what that was, but anyway. Um, so you need to line this up, tighten this up. Um, so we're just going to tighten these up. Probably should hold the bottom as well. Hold there. 
Um, I did put a bit of Loctite on here, sorry. I didn't to tell anyone, but yeah, I put Loctite on here just to stop it from rattling loose. Um, so this is all tight now. Um, this bracket here that stops the handle from opening was actually hitting. So I just had to pull it back this way, bend it up a little bit, and now we lock it. It's locked. Unlock it. Unlock. Lock. Unlock, lock, unlock. So it works perfectly. So now what we're gonna do is put the car back together and um, we're all good to go. But um, if you wanna order one of these kits, they will be available. I'll put a link in the um, description. So we're just gonna put the rear access panel back on the tailgate. It's all finished, the car's working. Oh, sorry, the car's always been working. The, uh, the rear tailgate lock is working now. Um, we have these kits in stock. If you need any of these kits, uh, just there'll be a link in the description on where to purchase it from. Um, I can ship Australia wide. I also can install it for you, um, depending on what you want. Uh, we also have roller shutters in stock. I'm about to put a roller shutter on this really soon. Um, I'm just waiting on my shipment to arrive but I'll have the roller shutters and mechanical ones. I haven't really gone with the uh, electric ones due to high failure rate um, on them. Uh, and I just didn't want to have customers ringing me up complaining about their tailgate shutter not opening. Um, I'd rather something be rel reliable and um, high quality. Thanks for joining us today. That's a wrap. Look at that. Locked, unlock works beautifully so thanks for joining us and um, please subscribe to see any future videos that we are posting whether we're going off-road on road what we're doing uh, modifying it I'll have a lift kit here for this in a few weeks um, I'll also have tuning capabilities on this so depending on whether you want more torque and kilowatts that's what helps especially with towing will help um, so anything to do with power or modifications for these vehicles we will have anyway so that's a wrap thanks for joining us uh on savage tech australia as again please subscribe hit the like button and share it to your friends mate these things are a beast um they're great like value for money you can't get much better than this um and i have been punishing it substantially so yeah that's pretty much it so thanks